Dot the Forest by Lucy Courtois. Screenwriting class futures explored. V1 11 slash 21 slash 2022. Fade in. INT. Cameron's house. Day. Cameron. Age 10. An identical triplet. Funny and witty. With brown hair and brown eyes. Sits with his family in the living room. Cameron's friend. Amy. Daring and kind with blonde hair. Also sits with them. Cameron's dad. Cruz. Age 40. Caring with brown hair and green eyes. Walks into the living room. Cruz, hello. How are you? Cameron. Good. Cruz, who wants to go with me to the forest in Thailand? There's a cabin we can stay at and there are lots of animals I want to study. Eric. An identical triplet with spina bifida. In a wheelchair. Outgoing and friendly. Responds to his dad. Eric, I don't know if I can go. I don't know how I would maneuver around in the forest. Boris, an identical triplet, video gamer, well-liked and popular, also responds to his dad. Boris, no. Dad, I just want to hang. Here, play video games and go to see friends. Cruise, to Cameron. Now down to you. Cameron, aha, uh -huh. I don't know. Amy, go for it. It's going to be fine. Cameron, okay. I will try. INT. Airport. Day. Cameron and Cruz are in line at the John Wing Airport. Ready to board the flight to Thailand. Cruz, time to board. Cameron, why didn't I stay home? Cameron starts to walk in the other direction. Cruz follows. Cruz, it's time to go. We're gonna do this together. Cameron hesitates and then decides to go. Cameron, they board the plane together and arrive in Thailand. INT. Cabin. Night. Cameron and Cruz walk into the cabin in Thailand. It is cold inside. Cruz walks over to the heater and turns it on. There is one floorboard that is not completely nailed down. It moves a little when people step on it. Cameron gets a glass of water from the water filter jug. It's clean and clear. Cruz let's check out the cabin. Cruz carries his luggage into the master bedroom. There is one large bed with a nightstand. He puts his stuff down. Cameron and Cruz walk to Cameron's room. There is a water bed for Cameron to sleep on. He puts his stuff down. They unpack their belongings, including DVDs for later. Cruz and Cameron each pack their backpacks for hiking. Cameron packs his headlamp, binoculars, and camera in the bag. Cruz packs his binoculars, a first aid kit, an emergency kit, and a water camel. Cruz, Conti, okay. We have a big day tomorrow. Good night. Okay, Dad. Two. Cameron, okay. Good night, Dad. Cruz turns off the lights in Cameron's room and goes to bed. INT. Cabin. Day. Cruz wakes up at 4 a.m., hops in the shower, makes coffee and lunch. At 6 a.m., he checks his watch. He goes to Cameron's room to wake him up. He hears Cameron snoring a little. When Cameron struggles to wake up, he gives him a gentle shake. Cruz, wake up. It's time to get going. Cameron groans because he's sleepy and then wakes up and stretches. Cameron rubs his eyes and yawns. Cameron takes a shower, brushes his teeth, puts on a blue shirt and corduroy pants, and eats breakfast. He shakes a little because he is scared to go into the forest. They put on their hiking boots to leave the cabin. EXT. The forest. Day. Cameron and his dad walk through the forest. It is hot and humid. They both look fascinated with everything they see. They see tropical plants and trees. The ground is covered with rocks, grass, and leaves. There is a small stream running through the forest. 
Cameron and his dad make facial expressions of excitement. Cameron. Wow. They look around at the plants and animals, flora and fauna. He doesn't want to touch the plants. The forest also has a lot of noises from the animals, monkey calls, bird songs and more. Cameron looks down at the trail as he walks and suddenly hears a strange noise. Cameron, Conti, whispers to himself. Oh my, what is that noise? He looks around scared but then realizes it's just a peacock. Cameron, Conti, oh, it's just a peacock. Who you? Three, four. Cameron takes out his camera and takes a photo of the peacock. All of its feathers are out and are very colorful. His dad continues to walk down the trail. When he's done, he puts the camera strap around his neck and it rests on his chest. He continues walking and catches up to his dad. EXT. The forest. Day. Cameron walks with his dad when his dad suddenly turns to him and whispers. Cruz look. There is a tiger sleeping. In between those trees. Cameron, stuttering. Whoa, whoa, wow. Cool dad. Cameron is scared that he will be mistaken for food. Cruz, that's an Indo-Chinese tiger. They hunt at night and live up to 15, 26 years in the wild. The male weighs. Cameron is relieved that the hunt at night and live up to 15, 26 years in the wild. The male weighs three, three, zero, four, three, zero pounds and the female weighs two, two, zero, two, nine, zero pounds. Cameron is relieved that the tiger only hunts at night. Cameron, I know who gave you this information. It was Eric. His dad looks at the tiger through the binoculars. It is orange and golden with narrow black stripes. Cameron, Conti, can I have a look? Cruz hands him the binoculars. Cruz take a look. Cameron. Pua. He passes the binoculars back and takes out his camera. He zooms in a lot and takes a photo of the tiger. Cameron and his dad continue to walk in the forest. EXT. The forest. Day. Cameron and his dad walk through the forest back towards the cabin. A red-brown baby gibbon swings past both of them in the trees above. Cameron is intrigued. He starts to follow the gibbon, and knowingly in a different direction from his dad. Cameron, where is it going? EXT. The path towards the cabin. Day. His dad continues walking back to the cabin and realizes that Cameron is not with him. Cruz Cameron, Cameron. Cruz doesn't hear anything in response and gets worried. It starts to rain. EXT. The forest, day. Cameron follows the baby gibbon through the forest. It continues swinging from tree to tree and approaches the rest of its family. There are five gibbons in the family. It starts raining harder. Cameron starts shaking and is scared. He doesn't know what they're going to do. He watches them from a distance and then sees how sweet they are. Cameron feels a sense of relief and loses his fear. He holds up his waterproof camera and takes a photo of the entire group. It rains even harder. He realizes he needs to go back home. EXT. The path towards the cabin. Day. Cameron walks quickly back to the cabin but begins to get lost. He can see that the sun is starting to set and gets nervous. He writes a text message to his dad, I'm lost. Can you help me get back? The message doesn't deliver successfully. 5. Daydream, EXT. Higher elevation, day. He has a vision of his daring best friend Amy and what she would do in this situation. She goes to a higher elevation to call for help and wave a heavy-duty flashlight. EXT. Higher elevation. Day. 
Cameron decides to do what his friend would do and walks to a higher elevation to look for help. He puts on his headlamp because it's starting to get dark. Cameron looks down at the full landscape and sees the cabin in the distance. He uses his binoculars to look at the cabin and sees his dad walking in the front door. He's excited and relieved that he knows where to go. He starts running down the trail in the right direction towards the cabin. INT. Cabin. Night Cameron walks into the cabin and his dad hugs him. Cruise Cameron. I'm happy that you're back. I was worried about you. Cameron I'm glad too. It's nice to be back. Cruise I'm proud of you for getting to the cabin on your own. Cameron is soaked from top to bottom. Cameron changes into his pajamas. Cruz puts Cameron's wet clothes in the dryer. Cameron sends a text message to Amy. You won't believe what happened. I saw a peacock, a tiger and a family of gibbons. I followed the gibbon and then on the way back I got lost. But I thought of what you would do and went to a higher place to look for help. Amy responds. Wow. Cool. That is unusual for you. I can't believe what you did. Cameron's dad FaceTimes Eric and Boris to tell them about their day and what happened. 6. Cruz, Conti, Ellipsis, and then, your brother got lost, but he's okay now. So how was your day? Eric and Boris, shocked. Is he okay? Cameron, I'm fine. I promise. I'm not lost. Anymore. Cameron moves into frame of the cell phone camera and waves at Eric and Boris. Eric's school's not the same without you. Boris, get back soon. We miss you. Cruise, okay. We gotta go make cookies. And hot chocolate now. Talk to you later. Boris, jealous. I wish I could do that. Eric, to Boris. Even though we don't have cookies, we can eat some Takis. Boris, yeah, that's true. Cameron, ooh, I wish I had Takis. Boris, we'll save some for you when you get home, mischievously. Unless they're all gone. Boris laughs. 7. They laugh and end the call. Cameron and his dad start to bake cookies and drink hot chocolate. They turn on the heater, take his socks out of the dryer and make it super cozy. They queue up the show Garfield and Friends. Cruz, we are gonna have more animal. Watching tomorrow, jokingly. Not including now. Cameron understands and laughs. Cameron is excited to go out tomorrow, take risks, and see more animals. He's not scared anymore. Eight. This is a screenplay, the first screenplay I made. Thirteen minutes. Zoom. Zoom. Third. Stop record.